Good morning and welcome to The Locker Room. Kojak here and today's message is, who's driving? Modern technology is making the possibility of driverless cars real, and it's cool to see a car going on its own, but many people still feel anxious about the idea of no one sitting behind the wheel. Why? Because we like the idea of being in control. What's interesting about this is that the feeling doesn't often translate into our careers or our personal lives. Most people who lament their situations blame outside forces or other people for their circumstances, and by doing so, sacrifice all their power to someone else. I mean, who wants to be around someone who complains about their job or relationship all the time? If we don't like our situation, we act. We do something different. We make a new decision. But if we let someone else drive, we're complaining for no reason. Remember that if we aren't the reason we are where we are, we're effectively helpless, waiting to be rescued. Champions don't wait to be rescued, they act. Let's accept this first. We are where we are in life, in business, in our marriages, wherever, because of our decisions and actions, even if those actions were in response to what someone else did. So that means we can't sit around and complain. Why wait for the economy to recover or the company to change the comp plan or Doritos to suddenly become healthy? Thoughts are powerful, but all they do is drive our actions. I can think all day about losing weight, but unless I make better decisions about what I eat and I act by going to the gym, nothing's gonna happen. We make our futures the same way we made our present. If someone else is driving, do we really have the right to argue about the destination? Today, let's take control. When we're in the driver's seat, we're more confident and we get to steer towards our very best life. Thanks for joining me in the locker room today, guys. We'll see you next time. Make it an amazing day.